Welcome to Premath. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation x power 21 plus x power 14 equal to 36, where x are our real numbers and eventually we are going to check our solutions as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's look at these exponents. 21 and 14 we can tweak them 21 could be written as 7 times 3 likewise 14 could be written as 7 times 2 so therefore we can write this equation as x power 7 and whole power 3 plus likewise x power 7 and then whole power 2 equals to 36 and here we applied the power rule of exponents according to this one 7 times 3 is going to give us 21 likewise 7 times 2 is 14 and in next step let's go ahead and make a substitution to make our life easier let me go ahead and call x power 7 as an a likewise x power 7 as an a as well so let's go ahead and replace uh, x power 7 by a then this uh, given equation is going to become a power 3 plus a power 2 equals to 36 let's move 36 on the left hand side so therefore we are ended up with uh, a power 3 plus a square minus 36 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our cubic equation and we are going to solve this one by using uh, grouping and factoring. So therefore let's focus on this uh, a square. This could be written as negative 3a square plus uh, 4a square. So therefore in this next step I have replaced this one by simply this one now we can see between we first these two terms uh, a square is in common and between these next two terms uh, 4 is in common so therefore i can factor out a square from here so we got a minus 3 and here i'm going to factor out 4 outside so we ended up with a square minus 9 equal to 0 and now let's focus on this uh, a square minus 9 and here I have copied it down let me go ahead and manipulate this uh, 9 9 could be written as uh, 3 square as you can see in this uh, next step now let's recall the difference of two squares identity we are going to apply over here so this could be written as a minus uh, 3 times uh, a plus uh, 3 so therefore I'm going to replace this a square minus 9 by these two factors. Therefore our this equation is going to become a square times a minus 3. I'm just going to leave it alone plus 4 times. I'm going to replace this whole thing by this one. So I'm going to write down a minus 3 times a plus 3 equals to zero and now we can see a minus 3 and a minus 3 they are in common so therefore i'm going to factor out a minus 3 outside in the bracket we got a square and here we ended up with plus 4 times a plus 3 equal to zero and here in this next step we are going to distribute this 4 so therefore this equation could be written as a factor of a minus 3 and let's simplify this thing that's going to give us uh, a square plus uh, 4a plus uh, 12 equal to 0 and now here we got two factors equal to 0 let me go ahead and separate them I can write down a minus 3 equal to 0 and the other factor a square plus uh, 4a plus uh, 12 equal to 0 as well now let's focus on this very first equation a minus 3 equal to 0 let's move this uh, negative 3 on the right hand side 
So therefore we are ended up with a equals to 3 and that is one of our solutions. And now let's focus on this uh, next equation. And here I have copied it down since we were running out of space over here. And now let's recall the quadratic formula and let's focus on this uh, radicant b square minus 4ac. And this uh, radicant b square minus 4ac is called discriminant. And in our case, our coefficient over here, the leading coefficient is 1. No wonder a equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 12. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this discriminant. b square in our case is 4 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 12. So that is going to give us 16 minus 48 which is equal to negative 32. So therefore our discriminant turns out to be negative 32. Now let's recall this uh, discriminant table. We can see our discriminant is a negative number. So therefore we are going to have no real solutions. So therefore this equation has no real solutions. Therefore, we are going to reject this scenario and we are going to accept this uh, a equals to 3 solution. And here I have copied down this uh, solution a equals to 3 from here. But then we know that a equals to x power 7 from uh, this uh, substitution over here. So therefore, if we compare these two equations, we are going to get... Uh, x power 7 equals to 3. Now let's go ahead and take a root, 7th root rather, to undo this x power 7. Likewise, I'm going to take 7th root on the right hand side as well. Here we can see this power 7 and 7th root, they undo each other. So we got x equal to the 7th root of 3 and that is our solution. So thus our only solution turns out to be the seventh root of 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and check the solution for uh, this uh, value by just uh, replacing this x by this value. And we're going to see whether the left hand side is same as uh, the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So I'm going to replace x by the seventh root of 3 whole power 21 plus likewise the seventh root of 3 power 14 and our question is is the left hand side equals to 36 and now let's recall this basic rule the nth root of a equals to a power 1 over n so therefore the seventh root of 3 is going to be equal to 3 power 1 over 7 as you can see in this next step where I replace uh, these uh, seventh root by these uh, exponential forms. And now let's recall the power rule of exponents. So therefore we are going to multiply these nested uh, exponents. So the left hand side is going to become 3 power when we multiply this 3 plus uh, this is going to become 3 power 2 question mark is the left hand side equals to 36. Now we know that uh, 3 power 3 is uh, 27 and 3 square is uh, 9. And now we can see the left hand side is indeed equal to the right hand side. So therefore this is a true statement. So therefore we conclude that x equal to 7th root of 3 is indeed our valid solution. And here's our solution. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.